Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called At the Drive-In. This is from MVD Visual, and it's directed by Alexander Monelli. This documentary is about the Mahoning Drive-In Theater in Lehighton, Pennsylvania. And all the people working there trying to keep the drive-in alive from the ever-increasing digital world. The movie came out in 2019, and I'll tell you what, it's kind of hard to even say that beginning the beginning was very vague because uh i have so much love for this place that uh it was hard not to put my personal feelings or emotions into the beginning of this uh you know video uh it it's it, t it took me about 20 minutes just to get that little intro because i didn't know what to say um it, because i uh, you know i i have a passion for this place i i really do love this place but it was really cool to see this documentary and um, the little behind the scenes and that you know about the place the place opened up in 1949 and it still has the original projectors which are simplex E7s and those are the same two when you're there in fact while you're there they usually keep the door open you could actually walk past and see them even when you're in the concession stand you can see them and, and, and they're such nice people that you could probably even ask like can I just look at them and they'll let you and who knows I've never done it but maybe they'd even take you a little tour I have no idea don't do it don't don't say I did that but I just you know they're that nice of people I think they probably would but they're huge machines they're very cool in fact in the documentary they say that uh, back in the day you used to have to have a license to run them because they were considered heavy machinery and you know people would you know could get hurt with them and that and uh, you know that that's pretty crazy to think that you had had to have something for that for those, but the theater was struggling. Uh, they needed to raise a, an incredible amount of money to switch to digital because the movie the, the uh, you know the industry and that they weren't going to be putting uh, any movies on film anymore, and that's what they run off of obviously. So they either were going to have to try to find the money, shut down. Or think of another alternative so they decided you know what let's let's do this other thing let's let's just stick to retro let's let's you know do the classics in that and that's what they were doing and of course in the beginning they started struggling with it and they were starting to show like the old movies in that which you know I, I love to see and I'm not talking like you know 1950s or 1940s or you know those old movies but like there's a lot of like retro horror movies they show you know they show children movies in fact this weekend is actually the opening weekend and uh, we're going tomorrow it's open they usually every weekend they're open during this uh, spring to end of summer actually into in, a little bit into fall almost uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday they have their showings now some sometimes there's a showing on a Friday that's two movies and Saturday's two different movies so you know it depends on how bad you want to see whatever movie but this weekend is for the it's opening weekend for families you know for oh, for everybody but mainly for the kids uh it's willy wonka and the chocolate factory and also the wizard of oz i don't know which one's showing first but i'm actually pretty happy to uh, be going not only because it's opening back up and i you know that's just like a you know it's going to be warmer out and uh, i mean i love the fall i hate the winter but um uh, I'm not getting into that, but it's it'll be cool to see um, my son for the first time going to the drive-in theater. Uh, he, we you know we have a big TV, but he's never seen the movie theater. He's never been to the movies um, before, and you know it's just I don't think he has the attention span for it. But I think being that we're going to be able to be outside and you know sitting down. Uh, watching a t the TV, you know, I think the the screen. Um, I think he's going to really enjoy it, and it's really awesome that there is still drive-ins around, especially this one, still showing 35 millimeter print. By the way, they did not switch to digital. I didn't go to say to that. Um, they didn't switch to digital. They stuck with the like I said. I did say that they stuck with the 35 millimeter. So that's what they're going to be showing this tonight. And I'm hoping that the Wizard of Oz is first, um, but uh, I just think that my son would enjoy that one more. But either way, I think he's gonna have a blast, and uh, I'm just 
so glad that my son can experience the driving, you know, like I used to uh, for the first time, and it's going to be great to see him like that. The owner of the theater is Jeff Maddox, and he's a very nice guy as well. And there's also two guys that help him run it. Everybody helps, but the two other guys, like main guys, are Matt and Virgil. And I wasn't going to attempt their last names, but uh, they they help run it and everything. I've met and seen all these people before. I don't know if they'll remember me, but uh, they're all very very nice people. And you know they sacrifice a lot because they don't even get paid. I uh, don't know if they get paid now, but when they were filming this documentary, they don't get they didn't get paid at all. They didn't make a profit, you know, it, and it costs a lot each weekend to run a movie. It costs like five hundred dollars every weekend just for to rent the film, uh, you know, because they got to rent the film from like you know Hollywood and all that, and they got to send it out to them, and then you know they you know the shipping and all that, and and they just got to make make their money back somehow so then they also have the concession stand which is amazing like you know the, the food is good and the inside looks awesome like they usually decorate some uh, you know the inside to whatever movies are playing so they really put a lot of like you know blood sweat tears and heart into this place and it, it just really shows that it's such a great experience and I and, and the documentary is is great and and it does show a lot of love for the place and how they struggled and and all that you know they even stay there over the weekend on air mattresses instead of going home and again they don't they don't make any money they they just do it and hope they make money and they 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 do it cuz they love it you know and they just want to keep this place around and that you know that's just awesome they could do that that's that much passion in this they have themed like weekends where like it was a Kevin Smith weekend and they were have like people come like you know dressed up like Kevin Smith and stuff like that and people get pictures taken and even they get films like you know from even they had a film on there it was from Quentin Tarantino's private library of clerks uh, it was his film of clerks and he so that he actually sent them his private film to use for the viewing and it was awesome. Even I, I remember this what happened too. Kevin Smith retweeted about the Mahoney driving. He didn't actually go, but he retweeted about it. And, and you know that's just awesome. So like this place, you know, if you can get to it, you know, it's it's definitely an experience. And the the documentary does show a lot, but being there is another thing. Like watching the the documentary just made me. And this is like I watched it a few times. But when I first watched it, like uh, a couple weeks ago, I I couldn't wait for it to open. I just couldn't wait. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for that. And you know, it now being that it's the opening weekend, I'm, I just can't believe it's here already. And just to be going there and experience it, um, you know, it's it's a whole different you know experience than watching a documentary. Documentary get people excited and it's a really really great story you know but going and seeing it is a totally different experience and very nostalgic and you know that's really why everybody's keeping it up keeping it together they their love of film their nostalgia and you know it's just a great place to be like it's just so so cool uh, the only thing that it doesn't have and I guess a lot of theaters don't have it anymore and I guess it's a money thing is they don't have the poles with the speakers on anymore which I used to love back in the day I used to love that but now you just bring your radio tune in that's been like that for a long time you know tune into a radio station and uh, you can you can hear it and um, you know and the screen is gigantic in fact uh, they had a GoFundMe page which I will link below because if you all want to contribute any time to the theater you can you know and you know do donations help to keep this running you know that's great uh, but they had a uh, something happen with the, the screen and they had to get it fixed so now because of that GoFundMe they they were able now the screen I was nervous about that to be honest the screen was like ripped off on the side and now it's all fixed up it looks awesome the uh, the sign coming in it looks really really cool uh, I've had several pictures if you follow me on Instagram or my videos obviously I, I've been there uh you know my vhs fest and that and uh other times and 
I took a picture in front of the, uh, I guess it would be a marquee kind of thing, and it just looks cool, but they had to get that fixed because of a storm, so, and then people, they raised enough to get that fixed, so, like, the community and everybody just comes together because they love it so much. In fact, they, people love the place so much, they're willing to drive, like, six and a half hours or more just to get to this place, and that's what the the one guy in this does, uh, him in particular, I'm pointing him out in the documentary, he drives six and a half hours um, just to come here, and he don't get paid for it, he uh, he helps them out, and he just loves what he does, he, or he just loves what they do, and he just loves to be there and helps them out however he can. Now, I don't want to say this as like a downer or anything, but um, I don't know if it's because I'm older or not, but you know, there's a lot of, I, I, I can be happy, I can be a happy guy, and, uh, but I, ha I have, you know, a lot of problems, and a lot of things get me down, and not, a, I, there's a, it's very tough to get me happy again, but going to the, this drive-in, and this is not bullshit either, just going to this drive-in and being there, it's like tapping into the younger me, and, you know, I just tap into my, the good times in my brain, and, you know, going to the drive-in, and it just, like, makes me happy, just for that, you know, that night, you know, I'm back to, like, being in such a good mood, and, and excited, and it's just great, it's just great to be there, and, and to be honest, I don't know if I was ever at this drive-in when I was younger, because there's actually a drive-in theater about 20 minutes from me, and I don't believe it's open anymore. In fact, I stopped going there because the area got so bad. I was, I'll be honest, I was afraid I was getting going to get stabbed if I went there or, or robbed or shot because the area got kind of bad. Now, maybe not everybody agrees with that, but I didn't want to take that chance. So it was a bummer that I couldn't go to the drive-in. And, you know, being at the time, my wife wasn't my wife yet. And, you know, and even when she was, it wasn't... I was, we were afraid to go, so when I saw, heard about this place, um, you know, thanks to uh, my friend Anthony Rapino, when I heard about this place, it was like, you know, oh, thank, thankfully, some place to go now, it was, it was just amazing to, to finally have a place to go and see these, and then the fact that they were showing, like, old horror movies, and it was all in 35mm, I think the first thing I saw was Evil Dead there. I believe it was Evil Dead. It was just amazing. And I don't know if it was on 35mm. I, I think they had to get a different f film at the time for some reason. But it looked awesome. You know, it looked amazing. It was just so cool seeing that on the screen. And they have all different themed nights, like I said. They have like a bite night, which is like Jurassic Park and Jaws, which I didn't get to go to. And now, you know, I've never, I've never gone to that one, unfortunately. But they have like a zombie fest. They have... Camp Bloodbath, uh, I believe it's called, where it's like, you know, Friday the 13th type of movies like that. The, they always are looking for thieves, though, like there's going to be a Killer Clouds theme uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks, which is going to be uh, Killer Clouds from Outer Space and the new It movie, so it's going to be really cool. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to set up the inside, because I'm going to probably be giving them a prop. Um, but they're going to be setting up the inside, and I'm kind of looking there, uh, forward to seeing all the people who are afraid of clowns, how they react. And I'm hopefully, hopefully somebody's going to be walking around and peeking in windows as a clown. That'd be cool. But it's, it's uh, just such a good time. In fact, the place makes me like things that I hate, and I will show you an example. This movie here I saw at VHS Fest, The Abomination. Now, this isn't an actual copy. This is a copy that somebody somebody made this and I got it because it does this it does that so I got it but I saw the abomination there for the first time and it was horrible it's a horrible movie I think so but I had such a good time watching it because everybody made fun of it and were just laughing and like yelling things out and it was so funny and so much fun that I'm like I have to get this and hopefully it'll be the same I haven't watched it uh, since, but just the fact that 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 the drive-in, uh, the Mahoney drive-in, 
had made that memory for me you know I have that memory it made me like I'm gonna get this now the the actual tape is is too pricey that's why I got this but you know nonetheless I wouldn't I have never picked this up but thanks to Mahoney Drive-In I did and like I said they have themes like here's Nightmare Party and I don't remember who the artist was uh, but they have these they were all on 35 millimeter and like I said, first night was Nightmare 1 and 2, and then Saturday night was 3 and 4. And uh, we went for 3 and 4 because, you know, I like them better, but Part 3 is my favorite one. So we got that, and then, I, you know, I got the poster while I was there. And, of course, the VHS Fest posters, which are amazing. I love them, and such a good time. I even have posters of events that I didn't even go to, like this one. It's like, I didn't even go to these. But I had to get the posters because they're just so awesome. So yeah, the documentary does capture a lot of the place. And it's just amazing how people sacrifice for this place. Um, like Matt and Virgil. They just, you know, um, Matt, Matt like found the place just because he didn't have a GPS in that. And he took a, a road off the side and found it. And he thought it was like this, you know, abandoned movie theater and he found out it was running and then he called Virgil up and you know they both wanted to help Matt out to uh, or uh, Jeff out I mean uh, to open or to help him run the place and uh, you know they with that you know and over the years they've they've really uh, come a long way they've actually started turning a profit in fact because of something now I say they do 35 millimeter and they do 35 millimeter um, if they can like if there is any other way that they can't if for some reason they can't do the 35 millimeter like they had a run in where the film was going to be late for jaws so they had to think of some way to do it and they actually do have these like digital projectors that were uh like like you would use in a school and they had a little idea for how what they would do and they would they used it for that and in fact that's usually what they use for like the VHS fest cuz like they run the VHS tapes and run them onto the big screen which is it's awesome like it just looks amazing and you know some people uh, are going there for the 35 millimeter experience and you know might they might not like that but I I'm fine with that um if that's the only way you could do it if that's the you know if that's the you know how you have can do it if if you know instead of not showing something or showing something completely different uh if you know they're still giving you what you want and they're still going to try however they whatever they can do to get that print and if it's out of their hands you know what what can you do but again they still showed jaws that weekend everybody was happy it looked really really cool but that's like you know la like for emergencies really and it's there's like a little uh, booth, like a little projection booth, kind of out in the in the field, and uh, you know they have actual, you know the glass that you're supposed to use for those. So and it looks awesome. Uh, in fact, I, I wondered what that was when I was first there. So after watching this, now I know what the hell is there because I never walked up to it to look. But it was it's pretty cool, a very cool idea. Uh, I would have never thought of that, and it looked it just looks awesome it's really cool to have for like VHS fest if they don't have like the film um, you know it's still you're still watching the VHS on the big screen up there so that's cool too but like again they only they really just do the 35 millimeter which is awesome and you know I can't say enough good things about it I do want to say this too it is open rain or shine so make sure even if it's raining to go because even if you're there's one car they will still run the movie and it does cost them so you know make sure you go there and support it share share all you can about this share the GoFundMe and you know share about this documentary uh, get the word out about this I know it's, there's a lot of people know about this but uh, you know there might be people that don't know and I just you know this is something that I, I, I love this place and I, I'll be honest, I don't get there as much as I would love to. And it's going to be really tough this summer because we have a baby on the way. And we're going to go, I'm going to get to 
as many as possible. Well, I think I've talked long enough. Uh, it's just, it's hard to not talk about something that you love and, you know, you're very passionate about. And I know so many people are passionate. I mean, they're working for free uh, for something they love. Like, how many people could wor would work for free nowadays? Not many. Not many people would. Um, but, yeah, if you can, please support this place. Uh, keep it running. Keep it going. It's it's a place for, you know, it's just magic. It's just a magical place. And that's it sounds cliche in that, but it really is. It's such a great place to go to. So much fun. This weekend is opening weekend, like I said, April 26, 2019. And so please, every weekend they're going to have a, a theater or going to have a showing. So check out their Facebook, you know, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And follow the Mahoney Drive-In on there. Follow the at the Drive-In. Follow all that stuff. I'll put all that stuff below and you'll always be kept in a loop on what's going on. And try to make it out as many times as you can and support this place and just keep it running keep the magic going and you know all the the love of this place and and just keep it going you know that's all i ask just you know keep tony happy keep everybody happy this place is one thing that that keeps a smile on my face the whole time i'm there so and i know i'm not the only one but uh yeah if you're interested in purchasing this like i said check those links below and uh, i'll put a trailer below where you could check that out also, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. Well, that's everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the drive-in. Bye.